Hey yo, Mr. Josh here again from a cold, wet, dreary Galicia. Seriously, it's the middle of August and it's raining again. What's going on with the weather in this country? Ah, so much for living in warm Spain. Ha! That's a myth. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video explaining how to talk about time correctly because it's something a lot of people, even advanced students, seem to get wrong from time to time. I don't know why, it just is. But something I didn't do at that time was talk about the 24-hour clock, or what's also known as military time. And someone just recently said to me, why didn't you ever talk about military time in that video you made two weeks ago? Right, well, here we go, I'm going to do it now. I didn't forget, it's just... All right, I did forget, but let's do it now, okay? Get over it. So, first things first, I call it the 24-hour clock, and I will continue to call it the 24-hour clock for the rest of this video. You might know it as military time, but we're still talking the same thing. It's the opposite version of the one I did a couple of weeks ago. So the first thing you need to remember is this. Everything that is to do with the other version of telling time does not apply here. So there is no o'clock, there is no a.m. and p.m., there is no quarters and halves, there is no past and two. All of that, forget it. It doesn't exist. It's gone now. Leave it alone. Now, I know you might be thinking, what? You mean I've got to learn new words for this? No, you don't. The good thing about the 24-hour clock is you literally say exactly what you see. And just remember that one thing I've just told you. Say what you see. In fact, there used to be a game show years ago in England with that as a tagline. I can't remember what it was called now. <laughs> Sean, five seconds, here we go. <laughs> Sean, you're going to have to speak or run out of time. I have no idea, sorry. You've no idea, you <laughs> Anyway, never mind. So, let's start with the very basic whole hours. Somewhere here, as if by magic, a clock will appear, or some numbers or something, okay? So, let's start with a whole number, this one. So, what time is this? No, it's not 10 o'clock. I told you, forget the o'clock. It doesn't exist anymore. This is 10 hundred hours. This is 1400 hours. And this is 2300 hours. So remember what I said at the beginning about say what you see. If you think about it, that is literally what you're looking at. It's 23 with the double O's of the 100. 2300. Now, Notice I said double O's. I didn't say zero zero or double zero. I said double O. Most times when it comes to numbers, English people will not say zero unless we're talking about mathematics or something. We normally say O. For example, the dialing code for London is O two O. It is not zero two zero. Although when we're talking about double O's, probably the most famous one is double O seven. James Bond. Unlike what they call him here in Spain, which is 007, meaning 007. It just doesn't have the same ring as 007, does it? Anyway, I digress, but you want to remember that O thing. When you see what looks like a zero, it is O, okay? So that was whole hours. Pretty simple, it's just the number, and then you just say 100 hours, whatever the number is. So moving on, what time is it now? So if you just said quarter past 1100 hours, you'd be wrong. Remember what I said at the beginning? Say what you see. And what are you literally looking at? It's 1115. And that's what the time is. It's 1115. This is 1830. It is not half past 18. As I said it before, when you see numbers like this, you literally say what is in front of your eyes. So this is 10.55, this is 23.45. Now, for an extra 10 bonus points and the chance to be rubbed down with warm oil by me, what time is this? If you just said 9.40, you'd be wrong. Well, you're not actually wrong, you're kind of right. But you're missing something, and that would be the number at the beginning, which is the O. This is 0940. You have to say what is literally in front of your eyes. The reason you need to put this O in front of it 
is that it tells people that we're talking about the morning, 0900. If this was in the evening, it would be 2140. This is why we don't need the AM and PM, because there's only one nine o'clock. And provided that you say the O at the beginning, people know we're talking about the 24 hour clock, it's 09 something, it must be the morning, it can't be the evening. So this would be 0230, and this would be 0815. And it really is as simple as that. There is no great complications to it, unlike everything else to do with English. 24 hour clock is super easy to do. Say what you see in front of your eyes. And remember that what you think is a zero is an O. Anyhow, I hope you found some of that useful. And now, between this video and the one I made a couple of weeks ago, you should know to perfection at any given moment what time it is. So if you found this video useful, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, for the opportunity to be rubbed down with warm oil by me, leave your email address in the comments. Bye for now.